All right, Nico's turn. Suddenly, without warning, Tak uh, Takeshi's head started to ache. He grabbed his head and, as it throbbed with pain, uh, Takeshi da uh, daijabu said. Oh, Kuga. shut the fuck up! <laughs> shut up now! No. Uh. Oh God! I'm glad I'm taking over from here. Not uh, ready. You know what? You know what? Not even better. Nico, every time they say a Japanese word, replace it with like a Dutch word or something. <laughs> the the equivalent of that word, but in Dutch. Yes. Okay. Um. Takeshi, uh, for you, is lekker. Nee, nee. <laughs> See, much uh, better. Uh, ik uh, <laughs> ik heb een hoofdpijn. Uh, uh soms. <laughs> No, I didn't say read the whole thing in Dutch. That's not what I said. <laughs> no. <Nah>. Ik moest iets ben iets herinneren, maar ik ik voelde. No, go back. We need English now. Okay. No, no. It will be all right. I have these migraines occasionally. I was uh, I was trying to remember something, uh, but it felt like there was some kind of mental block. Takeshi remembered the explosion again from uh, some hidden lab and the dark figure from a mill uh, from a millisecond. What the fuck is he talking about in this sentence? A milli hyper second. You said like you remembered something. <clears throat> uh, yeah. Fuck it, I don't care. Continue. Sure, you don't need anything," said Kunio. "I'll be, I'll be fine," said Takeshi. "Excuse my rudeness, but uh, it will be. N uh, but it was nice meeting you, uh, though, uh, Kunio. Yes. Uh, likewise. Uh, likewise. Uh, things have um, things that make you go. Uh, huh? Wait. Things that make you go. Huh? <laughs> So wait, he didn't actually reply to this guy. Instead, the guy was like, it was nice meeting you. And then like, he sits there respecting a, a reply. And Kunio, instead of just going, yeah, you too, he instead puts his finger to his chin and just thinks to himself. He's just like, likewise, things make you go, hmm, make you go, hmm, help. <laughs> I, I and then I help. guess, and then I guess Takeshi was like, all right, well, fuck you then. <laughs> Just left. <laughs> fuck you. I guess I'll if go fuck myself then. If you're gonna act like a Jap, like a JRPG protagonist, I'm gonna, I'm fucking out of here. <laughs> I already yeah. got my two lines out of you. Yep. Yeah. Back in campus, uh, Kunya returned to the gym and met up with the rest of the team. Uh, Professor Alex was along with them. Uh, the emergency alarm sounded. And the crew uh, responded to uh, responded by going to the vi uh, video screen. Geez, said Kunio. It seems like it's uh, it's time to punch uh, punch out the clock again. Uh, what happened? To, uh, what what's happening, dear teacher? Uh, I am not surprised, said Alex. Uh, another one of uh, Black Org cyber creatures uh, who did not uh, who did they send uh, down this time? Asked BC. Uh, they. Um, they witnessed a new monster in the form of uh, Kuro Pirate. Uh, of course. Black Pirate. Blackbeard! No, that would actually be cool. Mm. Uh, commanded speci uh, specially from uh, General Ugg. Uh, instead, of, uh, instead of downtown area, uh, downtown area of uh, Leewood Park, uh, the General and a couple uh, kings <laughs> Wreck havoc at, uh, at the Six Flags super super. They have a Six Flags. They have a Six Flags outside their city. Where the fuck are they? Do 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 Outside the city, like they have a fucking everything. <laughs> so this is basically Angel Grove. Yes. Basically. And there is a Mount Fuji in this distance. Yes, and if you walk ten feet in the other direction, you get to a fucking beachside. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and then polar bears are running on the streets. <laughs> yes. Angel Grove was, like, in an alternate dimension, I swear. 
All right, guys, do the f- uh, do your thing," said Alex. "Right," replied the team. Uh, as the uh, as the Rangers jet out of uh, jet out to the amusement park uh, on on their Bijou bikes. No, no, we we ag- we agreed on how to pronounce this word. We're pronouncing it bio bikes. You know, like Bayou Billy. The Bijitorium <laughs> bikes. Bayou bikes. Yes. The Bijitorium bikes. Totally. <laughs> they're they're made. Sp- Specifically for crossing Swamp Land. <laughs> yeah, so, which means they're hilariously ineffective at going anywhere else. Like they cannot ri- uh, they cannot ride unless the terrain is absolutely awful. <laughs> yeah, like it doesn't have wheels. It, it has like <laughs> this pad that scoots. <laughs> it just says flip flops. Why don't they fucking teleport? Is my question. We've been shown they can do that. Like, uh, the park goers uh, run out of the uh, run out of the gate in panic. Um, Kuro pirate uh, looked up and saw a uh, book. Buc- buccaneer. That buccaneer. actually is a word. Okay, buccaneers. Uh, buccaneer ride. Uh, the one that uh, swung back and forth until it moved faster and faster. That that's just what. Back and forth it, until they, it moves faster. They couldn't just call it the pirate ship ride. Nope, they couldn't just call it that, apparently. Getting all tech. Or just say, and, or, and, and just say, it goes back and forth faster and faster. And, and not until it moves faster. Never mind. <laughs> um, as the Rangers did, uh, just out of the. Um, uh, no, no, uh, sorry. Arg. Uh, there, uh, there be a ship we can. Uh, we can use uh, for our attack. Prepare to, bo- uh, to board, mates," said Kuro Pirate. Uh, General Ugg uh, used uh, used his axe. It was super effective to blast away uh, the uh, the supports of the pirates. Ride uh, they ride uh, the pirates. Ride they ride on and try to figure out how to make it fly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, before before we just take the ship and Peter Pan it away, let's break the support. Yes. That will surely I, make I us think on our feet. The, but why would pirates want to make it fly? They board it and then try to figure out how to make it. That That just blows my mind. These villains are fucking stupid. <laughs> That's all you need to know. Uh, Arr, this be a nice ship. Let's fucking blow it up. <laughs> All right, but we need to fly with this. You should have said Arr. so sooner. <laughs> I already set the bomb and everything. <laughs> Meanwhile, Nadia's just typing a new article for her website. She's like, why Scan Ranger is the greatest Ranger fanfic ever made. It's technically the best one I've read. <laughs> it's the only one you've read. <laughs> So by default, <laughs> yes, this is true. This is the best fanfic I have ever read. It's the only fanfic you've ever read. That's beside the point. <laughs> we need water to float on this thing, but uh, you di- didn't you want to make it fly? <laughs> we need water to make it fly. Come on now. It's, I mean, it's I mean, going I mean, to be I mean, like one of the pirates has like frozone powers, but with water instead, it'll just float there and it'll no, just be constantly shooting it at the ground of the ship. So no, there no, you even better, even better. They they all manage they get they manage to get a giant version of Flood from Super Mario Sunshine and Sunshine, and they just slap it onto the ship. Oh my God! They're in Peanut Park. <laughs> yeah, they literally just took the ship from there. Which I agree with, because fuck trying to platform on those things. <laughs> no matter, Lord Blackorg will make it go. Of course. Uh, two kings gathered a, pa- a pair of rocket boots and installed them on the pirate ride. Ugg used his remote control device to lift... They just went complete and other ape shit on this. Uh, Lift it <laughs> off the air. The Mayhem crew has uh, boarded the uh, ship. Arg. Pimp my ride. 
Scan oh. Ranger edition. Yo, dog, I hear you like bullshit, so I installed Rocket Thrusters on your carnival hey, ride. Hey, so, hey, 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 if this was Pimp My Ride, they would just put uh, they would just put HD screens all over it and call it a day. <laughs> True. It, it would be nice if among the pirates there was Kuro exhibits. <laughs> hmm. Yeah. And its power is literally just putting things into other things. And the... you see this? You see this shit? It doesn't fit, asshole. Uh, it's not arg, that one arg. otter. Uh, arg, our maiden voyage ha- uh, has succeeded. Now we shall attack the, uh, the city by land, by sea, and by air. Uh, that's inaccurate. You'll technically be only be attacking them by air. Yes. <laughs> so, uh, one of the kings informed the uh, cyber cre- uh, the cyber creatures of the rain scan rangers. So yep. scan rangers have a cyber creature. Yes, apparently. And it works for the uh, for the kings. Mhm. He's like totally. the, uh, a friend of my foe is uh, like this kind. This guy we kind of talk. Talk to sometimes, but don't really get too close with. <laughs> you see, we're only enemies when we're on the clock. Yeah. Who all control the uh, the new? Uh, who all con- uh, confront the newly f- uh, flying ship? Because it was if it was old leaf flying ship, that wouldn't be quite as impressive. Um, yes. Av- uh, Avast there, Scan Rangers, prepare uh, to be deep. Si- Deep, deep six. six. That actually is a phrase. Deep six it's a with dumb one. But... With my flying machine. You ki- uh, you're kidding us, right? Said Yellow. Um, these guys expect us to uh, they expect us to go down so easily. Uh, let's show them what's uh, what and what for. What's for? What's and forsooth that act- those actually are words. So don't worry about. It. <laughs> All right. <laughs> the most technical chapter of Scan Ranger. I know. Technically, it's a word, so we have to let him have it. <laughs> mm. He just he decided to dust off the thesaurus. <laughs> <laughs> he was like, "How can I be absolutely pretentious this chapter?" He uh, just he like stapled his thesaurus to his computer screen. <laughs> Before our heroes begin to fire, uh, Kuro Pyra's ha- uh, hand transformed into a cannonball hand. What? So he now became He turned God. his hand into a cannonball. Not a cannon, a cannonball. Ah, okay. Yes. So he's not Guts. Like, holy shit. How do you do that? And fires. Uh, it made an impact uh, on the Bejitorium bikes. Uh, and Scan Rangers dodged, uh, dodged out of the way. Wait, no, bullshit. How, how did that happen? Okay, here's what happened. He turned his hand into a cannonball, shot the hand at the Rangers. It somehow hit all of their bikes, but the Rangers also dodged. Bullshit. They just jumped off like their they- bikes. What I want to know is, how did he fire the cannonball from his wrist that has no <laughs> propellant and force whatsoever? No, like- like, I, I did he just what, punch really hard at them? <laughs> I see, like, I see what they did there. It's like they uh, they were like in the middle of doing the animation, so they still were uh, had invincibility frames when he did that. So it technically hit, but they still managed to dodge. <laughs> God damn it! You and your fucking Type Zero rules. This is bullshit. Like, okay. Uh, and to answer your question, Tom, the only thing I can think of is that he turned his hand to a cannonball, ripped the cannonball off with his other hand, and then just kind of threw it at them. <laughs> he fired it by pro- by normally throwing it. Yes. That or maybe the ship he's on has a cannon. So he ripped off his cannonball hand, put it in the cannon of the ship, and then fired it. I don't fucking know. <laughs> that would be needlessly complicated. Yeah. Like, why would you do <laughs> what the and fuck? You only have two shots, and you only have two shots. 
No, because then you could turn your feet into cannonballs, too. <laughs> but that w- those wouldn't be cannonball hands. Maybe that's why pirates have peg legs. <laughs> they, <laughs> they just ran low legs. on ammo one day, and they're just like, <laughs> well... <laughs> <laughs> I gotta use my leg. That my explains leg. a lot. <laughs> hmm. Another red, uh, another red beard wannabe, a eh? said uh, said red one uh, one side guys. I will take care of him. What? Uh, take care of uh, take care of Ag and others. Uh, red leaped into the ship and dueled uh, with the crow pi- uh, with the crow pirate. The cyber creature. Uh, hand turned into a rapier sword, uh, while Red summoned a uh, uh, swashbuckler sword. Swash, swash, see? Yes, that's his special fucking sword that can do whatever the fuck it wants to. He, uh, he has... <laughs> in the rapier mode as well, they battled... Uh, uh, he has a, a cutlass that is also a rapier. Yes. That is but, not uh, how swords work. <laughs> <laughs> well, you see, I'm. What I love how everyone just accepts the other thing that was in this little two lines, though, too. The uh, and it, it makes me think of something funny. Like Red's like, I got this. He jumps onto the ship. The pirate like goes to draw his sword. He looks at like his stub of a hand that he fired off as a cannonball, and he's like, shit. So he turns his other hand into a sword. He's like, I got this. Uh, they battle and uh, seem to be... Uh, How would he hold the sword, though? Seem to be evenly matched. <laughs> with, with his, his teeth. Yes, with his teeth. <laughs> or his peg leg. <laughs> or in between his toes, from his other leg. <laughs> no, He's like bayonet and he toe. starts spinning around with it. <laughs> in between the yes. toes of his pedal, uh, peg leg. Or he has riding stiletto, so he can just attach the sword to one of those. <laughs> that that would be cool. So that would, we're not going with that. <laughs> Wonderful. However, Og, remembering the early defeat uh, by Red before, used ba- uh, used his battle axe and blasted uh, Reds in the in the back. What? He summons a battle axe and then just shoots Red anyway. What? No. <laughs> what Ugg did was he summoned his battle axe and then shot it at him like a projectile. Like Why? The, like the axe head flew off the handle and into his back. Why would you do that? Why wouldn't you just summon a fucking throwing axe? Like, because I don't know. As Red turned... Uh, Crow pirate slashed him. Uh, Red fell off the ship and landed uh, in the par- uh, in the parking lot of the amusement park. Hey, fearless leader, said Green. You all right there? Are you hurt? Question mark. I'm okay, Green. The monster only hurt my pride. I should uh, I should have anticipated Ugg's attack uh, attacking from the rear. I wouldn't have anticipated that, considering Ugg was fucking nowhere on that ship a minute ago. These mayhem guys don't believe No one anything. expects the Spanish Inquisition. Yeah. Nobody expects Spanish Inquisition in plain but I love air. that. Fucking Red gets fucking axed in the back, shot up, and then, like, stabbed and thrown, like, what must have been, like, at least 50 feet through the air, and he's like, eh, I'm fine. <laughs> <laughs> and that, that only hurts my feelings. <laughs> yeah. Like, in anything else, that would have at least hurt a little bit. I mean, come on. The, the rangers aren't fucking invincible. Yeah. <laughs> they don't turn into sundowner. <laughs> Deep. Mm. The ship's headed in, uh, out into the, uh, into the city. Come on, guys, let's get going. We've got to save... Uh, we've got the city to save. Again, Joe Blue to himself. That's not a... Jo- oh, he does have a... Act two. Yeah, he does have a thing. But it wasn't bolded this time, like yeah. all the other ones. Like you expect huh. consistency. Hey, hey, I wanted to get that DLC. Me too. <laughs> Excellent yeah, work, Og. Get... Uh... Hmm. Excellent work, Og, Crow Pirate, said Black Org back in the... Uh, in the Nebutopia. Nebuto- uh, Nebu- 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 um, Nebutopia. 
Nibbletopia. Or if you want it, or if you want the cute version, Nibbletopia. Aww. Aww. <laughs> As in the place Nadia probably made. Nibbletopia. Okay. Yeah. Uh, now, Benedict, it's Nadia Topia. Oh God. It's it's too it nice of a place. It would just be full of Sailor Venus and Pokemon and Digimon Savers. It would just be too nice. Indeed. I, I would just go there and melt. <laughs> it's too nice. Ah! <laughs> like you would step foot in there and burst into flames. <laughs> uh, it's time to begin. I like to... how Nadia is just like, I don't even care. <laughs> uh, it's time to begin your first, fa uh, your first phase of your attack. Uh, you and your uh, brigade te uh, teleported down to the industrial area of town at once. <clears throat> yes, my lord, he, uh, they replied, as Benedict's br uh, brigade uh, prepared themselves. The rangers were still in hot pursuit of the, uh, of the flying pi uh, pirate ship, riding on their uh, vegetarian bikes. That's pretty fucking impressive, considering they got blown up not like two minutes ago. Invincibility frames. <laughs> God damn it. Maybe that's why Red was still fine after all that. He dodge rolled it just the last second. Mm hmm And because he invent uh, he invested into that uh, uh that upgrade that gives you more invincibility frames. Yes. Mm -hmm. He just kinda rolled out onto the fucking parking lot. Yes. We've got to stop them before uh, they destroy the industrial area of uh Leewood Park. Uh Industrial area of the park? Yes. Because all parts have industrial areas, don't you know? Yeah, I mean, <laughs> They're like, fucking a, doing a construction mine. work in, <laughs> right next to the roller coaster. Yep. Yes. Uh, said Red, if anyone uh, has a plan to, uh, to stop us, if anyone has a, uh, has a plan to stop UG, uh, I'm open for suggestions. Uh, well, we call? take the pirate ship and push it somewhere else. Nico? Why not call up the uh, Thunder Dolby to take, uh, to take the ship out, suggested Pink. Or better yet, said Yellow, uh, send out one of the Hollywood vehicles to deal with Ugg uh, and that monster. Good idea, Yellow. Pink, uh, pink, and I. Wait, 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 wait. The quotes are all wrong again. Yeah. Never mind. Yeah. Uh, pink and I will use uh, the TS Pegasus and the NS Peacock to slow uh, to slow down the uh, to slow the creature down. The rest of you can take on Og and his uh, cronies. Let's do this, guys! Exclamation mark and incorrectly placed finger magic. Uh, okay, replied uh, the others. Roll out, T.S. Pegasus! Shouted Red. His mecha flew from the top of the Cape uh, Paramount. Uh, Roll out, P uh, N.S. Peacock! Peacock! Uh, shouted Pink. Her uh, mecha flew out of the side of the mountain. Uh, meanwhile, blue, green, and yellow uh, prepared uh, onto. Uh, prepare to board uh, the fly uh, the flying ship. Wait, they have. Uh, mm, eh, I I I I probably missing context. Uh, again, probably not. Um, prepare for boarding party, uh, mates. We've uh, we're ready to uh, kick the uh, b u c c a n e e. Are but said Blue. Uh, Crow Pirate used uh, the opportunity to leap out of uh, out of the boat uh, out of the boat, and uh, growing into a giant, he was about to attack the town. The other three rangers confront Ugg and a few kings. Uh, you are n uh, you are not sh a sh I cannot say that word. I know that it exists. Chivalrous. Chivalrous. Uh, you're not a chivalrous guy, Ugg. Uh, hitting people uh, when they're not look, uh, when they're not e uh, even looking. 
said Blue. That's a big statement coming from the team who fucking summoned a giant mecha to take care of people who are the size of human. I mean, they did that even before they actually, uh, even the, before he became a giant. So they're yeah, like they are doing. That's always it. been a that's always been a point in like both Rangers and Sentai. You don't do that shit unless there's a giant monster afoot. Yeah, there, there's a limit to the ranger's power. It has, like, escalation control. Yeah, and besides, uh, you wouldn't exactly want to uh, go all Megas XLR on the city every single day. Well, I, I mean, you would want to, but then you will be the villains in any other show. Yeah. Um, Except that old lady who didn't obey traffic laws. Fuck her. Yeah. Uh, thank you, Fall, uh, said Ugg. Uh, prepare uh, to defend yourselves, humans. Uh, with, uh, with their film blade, the free rangers attack. Green taking, uh, uh, taking on the general. Yellow and blue taking on the kinks. Hmm. I am... The very model of uh, a pirate individual sung blue as he clipped as he clipped uh, a king with his sword, then punched in it in the chest. I know that's a fucking reference to something, and I don't fucking care. So just uh, God. Yellow had a uh, had a little problem uh, with them as well, uh, slashing uh, slashing away. Uh, meanwhile, Green battled Og, uh, yet uh, the general had, up, uh, had the upper hand. As before, Og knocked uh, Green's uh, film blade out of, uh, out of his hand. Wait, before? When did that happen? I know, right? It, what? It, like, did, what, did we just Green, forget that happening in a previous chapter? Because I don't remember uh, that. I, it's Green all just kind of blending together at this point. Green did not fight him before. Yeah, well... It was red. Apparently it happened before and we missed it. No, we did not. <laughs> like it was happening in the background of the background. It's in the DLC. It was uh, in the foreground. That's why you couldn't see it. A king attempted to uh, attack Green uh, from behind, but uh, Nick pulled uh, pulled out his uh, scan laser to take uh, to take care of the ro- uh, robot grunt. So he scanned it, and then what? No, but I don't, what what I don't get it. What I don't get is he calls them just green, red, yellow, and whatever, and then he starts calling him Nick. Yeah. Green, red, yellow, Nick. <laughs> Our Nick, not their Nick. Clearly. Nick is a caller now. <laughs> yes, that too. <laughs> Congratulations, Nick. Uh, so what does Nick look like in terms of color? He's a fuchsia ranger. <laughs> it's like a very angry color. So he's the beige ranger. The best ranger, you mean? <laughs> Whatever. Uh, like Blue Scanner said, uh, you are not a sh- uh, chivalrous guy. Uh Green Scanner used uh, his opportunity to summon his film energy, but Ugg blasted him in uh, in the chest. Wow, that was actually something intelligent. Yes. <laughs> like holy shit, that blows me. That fucking blows my mind. <laughs> I, now I have your power, Punch. <laughs> That's basically what happened. <laughs> <laughs> Cur- <laughs> Ugg just turned into Pharaoh Man. Fucking Ugg is my favorite now. Sorry, my, me, Mine too. <laughs> Where's your bravado now, fool? Said Ugg. Uh, you may be tough, but I am uh, stronger and more powerful than you. Redundant statement is redundant. Indeed. Not only am I stronger than you, but I'm also more powerful than you. I'm and I'm also, also better physically than you. fitter than you. <laughs> I am stronger and more powerful than you. And also, my strength exceeds yours. <laughs> and also, also I, have, ha- I have a significant advantage in power. Also, I can do more squats. 
<laughs> he just starts doing squats while boasting the whole thing. <laughs> well, the other one bleeds to on. death. <laughs> no, if he was gassed on, he'd be doing push-ups. And at twice the speed that the ranger would be doing it. And then it's yeah. just like, oh, looks like you're struggling. Maybe you need a hand. And he sticks out of his one hand to him, and he's still going at the same speed with his other hand. I saw that video. That was fucking incredible. <laughs> I'm glad like, Disney actually hires the uh, actors that can not only play their part, but back it up, too. <laughs> Like, he destroyed that guy. It was awesome. I've seen, like, that video in a window, but I have never watched it. <laughs> uh, okay. I so back to, to the fiction. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Back to the terribleness. Uh, I continue, uh, continued to slash away at the green uh, and punched him. So he dual wields. <laughs> Technically. It's, it's, uh, so wait, I, I got it now. Ugg's most powerful weapon is his fist, because him trying to do anything fucking else has failed so far, but just socking a guy, fucking incredible. They can't counter that shit. It's it's like freaking um, with Luke, how he uh, how his most uh, some of his most powerful attacks are just a, a slash and then uh, punch a couple times. Yes. Exactly. Um. Wait, stop it, please, uh, pleaded the green. Hey, any last words, Scan Ranger? Uh, yes, just one. Sucker, what? Uh, Ugg uh, sees, uh, sees green disappear okay. before his eyes. What happened? Is he gone? Nope, right here, uh, General Ugg Lee. Oh, shut up! <laughs> stop talking. <laughs> I, I don't know who Green Ranger is, but he's now officially, like, the worst ranger. I'm going to look up who green is, because I totally forgot. I don't know which one any of them is. Okay. Uh, the S- uh, the SPFX pa- uh, powered scan uh, scan ranger used. Uh, green is Nick. Nick is green. Green is Nick. Fuck you, Nick. Okay. <laughs> Fucking Nick. At at one point, he even lost his color. He sucks so badly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And beforehand, my my least favorite was Blue BC because he's supposed to be he's supposed to be the like the funny one, and he's like fucking horrible. Yes, he like, is. Uh, God. Maybe they were going to put Blue. He was going. I I wish uh, that that they just suddenly changed places, and it would appear <laughs> that right now it it was Blue all along. He takes with off no, the green helmet. With n- no, with no <laughs> No, he no, takes no, no, off that, the. Stan, Stan, that would mm. make sense. We, we, we would need it to be with like no explanation. Like it was actually, uh, even though they mentioned the green, it was actually uh, supposed to be blue all the time. He just forgot. But then it turned out it wasn't blue because it was actually Blue's evil twin from uh, the Netherlands, oh, who yeah. came down to visit, but then got mixed up and everything. But no, then he then he goes to take off his helmet, and he's just like, "You were expecting Green Ranger," and then he takes it off, and then he's all like, "But it was me, Dio." Yes, I thought you were gonna say you were expecting Green Ranger takes off his helmet, but it's actually, and then like underneath the green helmet is the blue helmet. <laughs> That's also that? acceptable. Uh, uh. Okay, the SPFX uh, powered uh, scan ranger used one of his uh, hollow clones to dis- uh, to distract the general while Green was behind him. Ah, invisible all along. Green uh, landed a, a drop kick uh, to, uh, in Ugg's face, knocking him out temporarily. Blue and yellow join. Uh, Join their uh, scan ranger partner. Which one's your partner? You've never stated this. Shh. I mean, are they talking about green? I don't, I don't know. know. This is uh, this is not over yet, scan rangers. I'll be back. Uh, count on it, cried Ugg. Uh, Why are you running? You were kicking their ass. 
<laughs> he's just yes. He had he had just done his nails, and now he like fall uh, falling onto the ground and got sand on it. He has to get r- get rid of it like, right away. Otherwise, it's just he's going to stay, and he's not going to be ready for the prom. You know, you need to think about he he like we all know he really wanted to be uh, back in high school. Oh yeah, totally. I thought that was anarchy though. Like possibly. God damn it. it is, everyone wants to go to school now. I don't. Fuck that. <laughs> well, you are part of the fix, so. Uh. As Seinfeld would say, yada Seinfeld. yada. Seinfeld would say yada yada yada. Replied Blue. Yeah, but he wouldn't say it in some really shitty fix, so you lose. Meanwhile, why would meanwhile, Seinfeld want to be in this fix? Right. Meanwhile, Pegasus and Peacock kept a uh, crow pirate at bay. They flew around this, uh, the cyber creature, zapping them with uh, missiles. Last I checked, missiles don't zap. Mm. <laughs> Electric missiles. Like I the ones so. that coal can fire. Yeah, you know what? Fine. Actually, those are grenades. And yeah. rockets. So, no. Uh, Pink used her peacock flash. You. Yeah. Uh, to blind the monster. I guess they don't want to see anything anymore. To blind yeah. the monster uh, briefly. Kuro's pirate uh, hand transformed into an old-fashioned gun and winged uh, and winged peacock. She made a rough uh, a rough landing. When you say old-fashioned gun, how old are you talking? You need to be specific with this shit. Like, are you talking the really old guns that were basically like mini cannons? Or are you talking like an Old West revolver or some shit? Because... It's literally like a wooden rubber band gun. (laughs) That would be awesome! Uh, It's like one of those that you use in Eternal Darkness and you have a high possibility of shooting yourself in the stomach. (laughs) <laughs> yes. Okay. Pink cried red. Uh, Arg said, "Crow uh, pirate, uh, did I hear? Uh, did I heard the pretty little birdie? Uh, good. Now it's uh, now it's your turn. Crow pirate has turned a uh, hand now turned into a cannon. Why didn't you do that in the first place? Uh, now it's a cannon. Uh, he turned his hand into a cannon." <laughs> he had that option all along, but first he turned his hand into a cannonball and fucking threw it. Yeah. <laughs> God damn it! I hate this pick. Oh, uh, right. Crow's pirate hands uh, turned into a cannon and made a direct hit. So just the cannon. Also, he's still anything. doing all of this with one hand. He has never retrieved his cannonball hand yet. Indeed. Wait, wait, wait. He uh, it, it turned it into a cannon and made a direct hit. He did not, he did not shoot. He just no, made... He, so, so, no, he turned his hand into a cannon and then just fucking smacked them with it. Yes. <laughs> exactly. Well, what is he supposed to do? He already fucking threw his cannonball hand. It's not yeah, like he could turn like his cannon. hand into a loaded cannon. That that would be cheating. Yeah. He's out of ammo. Mm-hmm. Also winging Pegasus. Uh, the mecha lost control and made slow spinning to uh, and made a slow spinning towards the mountains. Suddenly, M G U A lion makes a great save of uh, Pegasus catching uh, him on his back. I'm pretty sure that that wouldn't work. That he he still he still completely crashed and uh, whatever whichever green, uh, ranger was in it is horrifyingly dead like he's like super dead like twice. His, his body's just completely mangled. Just it's like the only thing uh, keeping him alive is uh, is the helmet. The only thing keeping him alive is that they had to hook him up to his mecha by replacing his heart and lungs. Yes, exactly. (laughs) Only Nico knows what I'm talking about. 
and he cannot leave the Mac anymore. No, nope. which means going to the bathroom is going to be a pain in the ass. Let me tell you. Yeah, how did they go around that? Did they ever, <laughs> did they ever address that? No, they don't ever address it. They don't ever address him eating either. Maybe he just gets everything he needs from Metatron. Maybe. Wouldn't doubt that. Possibly. Mm, where was I? Uh, Thanks, Green. I owe you one. Ah, yes. Thanks, Green. I owe you one, uh, said Red. Technically, you owe me uh, you owe me free, but I will let you go... Uh, uh, but I'll let you this time. Three? Three for what? I have no idea. But I'll let this one go, said Green. Uh, Crow Pirate ran towards uh, the two Hollywood uh, vehicles, but uh, the Blue Scan Ranger uh, and his TPC horse leaped out of his uh, underground and slashed the monster with uh, his sea cutter? Uh, yes. Okay. Um, it's dumb. Lion then That's all you need to know. Lion then proceeded to blast it uh, with his uh, lion shock. Allow me to not explain what any of these weapons are. Uh, the three high then rushed, uh, uh, then rushed after the cyber creature, and as soon as they uh, were about to leap, uh, leap on it, the crow pirate disappeared, making quick retre- uh, retreat back to the, into space. Wow monster that's actually intelligent. I mean, Shit. he was pretty much winning. <laughs> he was, but, like, he still had the sense to, like, run instead of sit there and get blasted. I mean, it was like, for that, I Shit, guess. I, I'm just stuck here with missing one hand, and they're kicking my ass. And now I have to lug around this heavy cannon arm. Fuck that. I know. Indeed. Uh. Wiecie jak mówią, jeżeli nie, jeżeli nie jesteś w stanie wytrzymać w kuchni... Stop this! <laughs> It's not like you really want to know what... Yes, I says. do. Yes, I do. Like they say, if you can't stand the heat monster, stay out of the kitchen. Said Blue. I'm pretty sure the monster part's not part of that phrase, but okay. Uh, never mind. Uh, the, range, uh, the Rangers rendezvous back at, uh, at downtown uh, Leewood Park and uh, assisted the other uh, Cape uh, Paramount techs in repairing the amusement park. What the fuck can't these Rangers do? I mean, is now what I'm wondering. Uh, how? Make why are they confident decisions in their life? I guess, but what? like, okay, they are. They know pretty much every culture known to man. They help out everybody ever. Whenever they say anything, most people just believe what they say. They apparently have enough know-how in, in repairs to fucking help rebuild amusement park rides. What the hell? And, why and they... these are kids who were formerly in high school. Yes. They didn't high even school finish university. high school. Or... No, no, no. They started college. Okay. Oh. But they... So, But that still doesn't excuse it. They didn't it. finish high school. <laughs> <laughs> they, they didn't finish high school. They just jumped to college. <laughs> They're like, we're too smart for high school, obviously. Uh, oh, God. It's a good thing that our crew has enough, uh, though, to make uh, repairs to the park, said Vin. How? I'm... How the fuck are you rich? Explain. We have all this ranger money. <laughs> Bullshit. It's ranger money. <laughs> they like, have, they have a Power Rangers credit card. Like, okay, one, Bat that would be fucking card. awesome, but you know that's not going to happen. Bat Two, credit card. like, do they fucking charge people to fucking, like, save them? <laughs> Because that's pretty fucking scummy. Just ranger fee. Or three, do ranger dollars equal bison dollars? Because, like, that shit don't work. <laughs> no, what they do is, afterwards, they do, like, this one thing. It's kind of similar to a return to the past, but then it's, like, a mass hypnosis. And while everyone's just kind of knocked out, they mug all of them and then <laughs> return things to normal. 
and then like have all the people wake back up. Wow, what assholes! Or uh, how I imagine this is why the city is always in the same condition, and people tend to never remember this shit. Or how I imagine it, uh, after uh, every time they are uh, uh, they're done with uh, with their power rangering, they just go around the lo- uh, the locations and they uh, ask uh, they just say to people, you know, the next time around we may or may not choose this place for our uh, for our fight. How about this? <laughs> Maybe you could persuade us. Give us five hundred and ninety nine US dollars. Uh, and they just they make this like really scummy contract where you have to like pay a certain fee every month or otherwise it doesn't <laughs> count. They're they're the fucking mob now. Yes. <laughs> like, that would actually be kinda cool. That would be more interesting than this thing. I was about to say, <laughs> the, like the mafia, but Power Rangers. That'd be weird. <laughs> how would how would the powers even work? Uh, uh, you know, in Broken God. Mafia, we're gonna have to make a Power Ranger class now. Yes. Oh hell yeah. Yes. Oh god. Um. I th- in fact, we should record Broken Mafia at some point mm-hmm. if we ever get a big enough amount of people. Yeah. Totally do that. I don't see why not. But back to the fic. Yes, said Ben. But uh, can you imagine how much uh, it will cost uh, Tokyo Tokyo every year to get their city back together after a monster nearly destroys it? No offense, BC. What? Where did that come from? Downer. <laughs> like, like this reminds me of one of my favorite things uh, that I've ever seen, and it and it's one of, and it's a classic nostalgia critic. But uh, it's like, it's it's this one little skit where uh, he's like, where there's two people. First guy's like, I just won the lottery, and then the second guy's like, Yeah, but 9/11 still happened. <laughs> God damn it! I remember that one. Yes. <laughs> what the fuck, dude? <laughs> Why would you do that? Oh my uh, god. No offense, BC. None taken. <laughs> the tri-state area uh, had the, uh, had its equal share to, uh, of uh, disasters, especially having invaded, uh, especially being invaded by aliens and asteroids. Uh, well, de- definitely a deep impact, indeed. Where is this you know, all coming from? I don't. F- maybe he's trying to be dramatic. Like this is the last. Like he's pretending this is a real episode, so it's like the last five minutes where they have to get serious and like teach a lesson or some shit. Get serious. Yeah. And then it's go. It's actually all going to be about brushing your teeth. <laughs> It'll be like Sailor Moon, where the lessons had nothing to fucking do with the episode. <laughs> and at the... <laughs> oh, God. Wheel of morality. Turn, turn, turn. <laughs> Show us the moral that we should learn. You can... <laughs> and then, like, at the end of this, they're going to show, like, <laughs> the, <laughs> the splash screen, and then it's just going to say, this some bullshit. <laughs> yeah. Actually, I actually have that as a gift. Nice. Um, we can just put that at the end of the recording. By all means. I'll just uh, drop this here. As soon as BC finished uh, his sentence, uh, an energy field surrounding the rain- surrounded the rangers. It was Arno, Benedict, and uh, his brigade. They surrounded the five. Uh, as Bene- uh, they surrounded the five as Benedict walked uh, to them. Who are you? Uh, demanded Vin. Now, if if you demanded, he would say, "Tell me who are you." That there is yeah. no demanded there. You fucking moron. <laughs> uh, 
I guess after the uh, after the attack on the city, uh, you thought that mayhem was behind us. Well, you're half right. Uh, we are here to help our lord Black Orc to finish the job. Permit me to introduce myself. My name is Benedict, Arno Benedict, and these five warriors are my brigade. Uh, Benedict presents uh, Crow Buzzer, Crow Grappler, Crow Fire, Crow Lentron, and Crow Frost. Our mission is re- uh, relatively simple, he continues. We, we are killed here the Batman. And st- stole his bat credit card. Yes. <laughs> you know how much fucking money must be on that thing? Seriously. We are here to destroy the Scan Rangers and steal your lives. Huh? Um, okay. The five uh, interpret uh, interpret heroes were uh, poised to yes. uh, defend themselves against a new uh, against this new threat. New be good con- fucking luck with that, considering you're captured inside an energy bubble. To be continued. Ooh, they have an editor's note. I'm actually gonna. I want to read this. Go I'm on. curious. <clears throat> Editors know, when I wrote this story and this series, I was once a so-called Super Sentai purist and frowned upon specific Power Rangers adaptations. I was unaware of the ongoing plot during Power Rangers in Space. Otherwise, Andros and company would have come after me and handed my butt to me. Now that I'm older, wiser, and more open-minded, I'm watching the Power Rangers more and giving Saban, not Disney, oh, fuck you, a different level of respect to this present day. So for all of you Shroud fans out there, please don't take this personally. Uh-huh, okay, so I guess nowadays he's fine with Rangers. Oh. Which is, okay, but he only likes Disney because only the old stuff is good. Fuck that. <laughs> but, uh, uh, in our next Scan Ranger adventure, the Rangers confront their biggest rivals yet in the form of Benedict's Brigade, which totally aren't the Psycho Rangers, by the way. Uh, meanwhile, more will be revealed about the mysterious Takeshi Hayata, Kunio's new friend. Friend, you talked for like a minute. It's <laughs> Hayata. <laughs> what is his secret, and how will he save the Scan Rangers from their ultimate defeat? Probably by blowing himself up. Next time on Movie Task Force Scan Ranger, episode 12. Back to action, the Shining Silver. He's going to be our sixth Ranger, seriously. It's Hayata. <sighs> Like, we don't know anything about... Fuck. He's just gonna suddenly become the Silver Ranger. No! <laughs> I like the White Slash Silver Rangers. Indeed. I wanted the fairy to become the sixth one. <laughs> She's not in this fairy. This does not matter. <laughs> Man, I want a Kuro Gangster to become the, the Silver Ranger. That'd be fucking awesome. <laughs> Uh, nah, but the, but the the fairy is totally the fifth ranger. If you guys want context, Nico and I have been watching Mystic Knights of Tirna and Oak. Uh, it's actually been pretty good. And his favorite character is the fairy lady. Helps the rangers out. Yeah, she's the best. <laughs> but okay, so what did you guys think of that uh, that chapter? That that was um no. <laughs> no no. How about no? Uh, it's uh, it keeps its level and uh, like every time I come back to it, it's uh, like I'm always surprised with how much bullshit there is. I mean, Jobu. <laughs> shut up, Sheena. <laughs> it just it just keeps things con- uh, things consistent. It's 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 really it's really. Uh, uh, like it del- it delivers, doesn't it? Doesn't it just? Eh. <laughs> uh, how about you, Nadia? What do you think? What did I think? Um. <laughs> what did I think? <laughs> what did I think? I, I you know what? I don't know. Like <laughs> I I I, I, I I didn't think. <laughs> like I don't uh, know. My brain just stops working halfway yeah. through the fic. Yeah, <laughs> I don't think I have an opinion for this one. Wow, so Nadia blatantly admits that this this 
this fic has gotten so dumb that her brain just shut <laughs> off. <laughs> wow, that's an accomplishment. That is your so, shut up. <laughs> so, yeah, on that note, uh, hope you enjoyed reading this chapter with us. Stay tuned for chapter 12. We'll do that at some point in the future. And, you know, just scanning it, holy shit, wall of text in certain areas. But, uh, yeah. So, till then, later. <laughs>